Yo. Yes, all right. Let me explain. Last one. Diamond mine. Conditions have not been met. No good. How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building, too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san. Is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy led to hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Butaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too... Well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. 
Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! And talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Hey, Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. Hmm? Uh... We will be counting on you. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayoshi Shido. Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together. I hope to continue serving you all. Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before, at the elevators. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. Damn, brat! I'll sue! What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. Ugh. What a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit. I don't believe it. <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. 
He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we've found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. Thank you. 
security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? The actual buildings on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. Alright, do it. Anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <sighs> Futaba? Hmm? What? The hell? Huh? Cognition is about, huh? This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this! We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure.
All right. We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Wait. Looks like.
Oh, is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to... Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> what is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on, let's make him see what this ship really is. Treasure chest. <laughs> I'll reveal your true form. Not bad. Not a bad feeling about that one. Persona! Joker. Focus. Huh? Oh, a treasure chest. Let's open it. Nothing to report. Show me your true form.
Joker, there's a chest. Let's open it. I have something. Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. Lots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, Beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we are on his side. move on quick but what's this qualification thing about why don't we ask the guests on this ship that thought never crossed my mind 
Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! Well then!
well. Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too. But talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right. Let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. Gotcha. You're right. It seems... Please hear me out. It's no use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Right? I totally get you. 
We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right, let's get this done quickly. Hey! Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? I want to avenge you, that's a no-brainer, but that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them?
I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <clears throat> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Hey! Okay, quiet down. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome! <gasps> what did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? I don't know what's happening, but I really hope this isn't a dream. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. No one cares about my scheme. Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? It's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. 
Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety! Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. <gasps> what a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader. But if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. <laughs> it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm... Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but... We really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well, I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well... Be seeing you.
Wow! Okay. Welcome. Take your time. What would you like? with enthusiasts, all right? Which one? Some enthusiasts like heavy guns. There are companies who use heavier plastic in their manufacturing process, but the heavier a gun gets, the thicker it becomes. Nothing you can do about that, though. Sounds good. It's that time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours, you know. We don't sell them here. One. Uh, you must be scheming to do something. Sounds good. Uh -huh, that's a very serious expression. Take your time and look around. 
that's what you're choosing, you like it? This combines a range of a rifle with the rapid-fire capabilities of a machine gun. Hmm, that one's your thing. Alright, which one? Ah, uh, you must be scheming to do something. That's what you're choosing? How's that? Hmm, that one's good. Serious today. All right, sounds good. Nice weather like this makes me want to go up into the map. All right, which one? Okay, sounds good. It's that time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours, you know. We don't sell them. All right. All right, which one? Nice weather like this makes me want to go up into the mountains and blast a few rounds. That's what you're choosing? Sure thing. Sounds good. It's that time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours, you know. We don't sell them here. Hmm, that one good. All right, which one? So if you take this gun, this rapid-fire, high-impact gun, and boost up its accuracy, you'll have the whole package. The bad guys have nowhere to run. If it was real, anyway. That's what you're choosing, sure thing. Sounds good. Be sure to choose carefully. Just don't go using it for anything dangerous. I don't want to get caught up in a racket. Hmm, that's good. All right, which one? I'm thinking a flashier shade, something you... That's what you're choosing, sure thing. Sounds good. Nice weather like this makes me mm, good. All right, which one? It's that time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those star- That's what you're choosing? Sure thing. Okay, sounds good. Got a really popular model in. Which one? Okay, sounds good. Nice weather like this makes me want to go up into the mountains and blast a few. Huh? You change your mind or something? Okay, come again.
Indeed. Why? Let us head off. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> ah. You're back. Later then.
Hey, hey. Good evening. Um... Let's go.
I look forward to it. Um... I help you.
Come on. down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! What? The sequence of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? The 
And what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Mm -mm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Oh, I am! I am! Okay, then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. I am thou. It shall become the with the birth of... Really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm... Oh! It's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew! Um... Let us go. Come on, let's go. We're here? What do we do now? Let's do it.
Yep, yep. Indeed. Find a way to the other side. trouble if they spot you this time.
Show me your true form. Ooh, a rare one! Persona! Charge, Johanna! One down! Go, Queen, go! Persona! Prepare yourself! It should be easy if we stay focused. Persona, go down. How's that? Reveal your true form. Now's our chance! Persona! Get him up! It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Persona! Feel my rage! Persona! It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Let's go. Order. There. Ooh, Joker. That would be Let's cool. Go.
Watch out! Strong enemies, and they've got you surrounded! This your true form. Weak 
against nuclear attacks? Let's go. There!
Now's our chance. our chance. That must be the table. Right. That influential politician comes here. Why don't we have a seat at the table next to it and wait for him? I'll go. He may become guarded if we go in a big group. Wouldn't it be odd with just one girl sitting there, though? Does someone want to come with me?
Joker. Let me go with her. I mean, dude, it's a restaurant. What are you, a preschooler? <sighs> I was wondering why you were so excited about this. <sighs> why isn't anyone asking me to do this? All right, we're going in. Everyone else stay nearby. I'll give the signal when the time is right. Man, what should I eat? You can't get full off of food in a palace. He's as dumb as ever. Uh, I can't read this. I'll have the sautéed foie gras, a salad garnished with truffles, and roasted lamb, please. I can't believe you can order so easily like that. Say... Ain't we kind of young compared to the others here? They're all involved with Shido, yeah? They seem to be major figures in the political and financial worlds. On whose permission are you sitting there, brats? Whose? Uh, I don't see any reserved sides or nothing here. It'd be a nuisance if you'd make a racket next to my table. I wish to dine leisurely. Children like you who are simply hungry should leave! What was that? Skull, be quiet. <sighs> Sorry. I apologize for our discourtesy. If you understand, then go home. Excuse me, but might you be Mr. Oe? Indeed I am. This will be an impudent request, but would you provide us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? From the looks of it, you appear to be minors. Why do you need an introduction? We wish to be granted an audience with him. His political ideology resonates so much with us. Of course, the same can be said about you, Mr. Oe. You have quite the silver tongue for one so young. Not that I mind it. Are you a high school student? Yes, sir. Speaking of high schools, I've heard that some principal somewhere kicked the bucket. He supposedly tried to leak Mr. Shido's name. <sighs> Had he simply obeyed, he could have remained in the upper echelons. To think he would cast all that away. An elite such as myself can't even fathom why someone would do such a thing. If you pledge your loyalty, you're given the honor of selecting those who would have mental shutdowns. Did you ask Mr. Shido to trigger a mental shutdown in someone as well? Hmm? Ah, more or less. Considering your caliber, I would assume that the target must have been someone quite important. <laughs> important? No. The target himself was nothing that impressive. Oh, you must be being modest. You recall the subway accident early last spring? The one I had targeted was that engineer. That was you? It was to take out the president of some company and a diplomat who sided with current government. I see. 
That was very useful, Mr. Hmm? Actually, my sister is a prosecutor at the public prosecutor's office. I could that to her. How about it? Won't you give us a letter of introduction? Is that a threat? Who are you two? The letter of introduction, please. Don't get cocky, brats. I'll never give you one. Looks like you have one, though. Well, guess it's time to use brute force. Guys! Ready, Joker. Persona! Prepare yourself! Just say the word. Ready anytime.
can end this quickly. Let's go. Pardon me. Okay. <laughs> Ready for pain? Alright! We got a letter of introduction! Please keep the truth of that subway accident a secret. Fine. In any case, it turns out Principal Kobayakawa was connected to Shido after all. No wonder he was so adamant about me digging up information on the Phantom Thieves. Still, I can't believe Shido just killed him so nonchalantly. The entire nation is underwater in his palace. He must feel nothing toward one measly educator. In any case, even though that politician was cognitive, he turned into a monster. Up until Kaneshiro's palace, cognitive beings were nothing more than weak presences. No. That Oe fellow just now wasn't a cognition. Hmm? But he had the memories and appearance of an actual person. He was probably a shadow fused with a cognition. It's like making the shadow wear human skin. I've never seen anything like that before. Such power is normally impossible. Wasn't Shido the one who destroyed the research done by Oracle's mother on cognition? Oh, do you think that when he did, he took the results for his own purposes? Shido. For all we know, Shido could have some hidden trick that allows him to tamper with his own palace. We need to be especially careful from here on out. Yes, of course. I will continue accepting them, even after I am inaugurated as Prime Minister. <laughs> as expected from you, Mr. Shido. You are truly a reliable man. And in return, I only ask for your continued support. Standing up to the world does require money. Of course. I'll make sure to prepare compensation as thanks for your help in cleaning up. The incident with that accident in spring was very beneficial. This is all thanks to you, sir. If the study of cognitive science progresses, I believe it's possible to increase the target range. <laughs> I bid you good luck with that endeavor. I hope you will continue to assist us. Hey!
should write something. Oh, hold on a sec, you guys. like we turn back when we leave the affected range. It's not really a big deal. It most certainly is a big deal. Explain what just happened to us. It seems like people who Shido views as intruders turn into mice near those Shido statues. Oh, so we're nothing but rodents to him, huh? That's irritating. 
I agree. But we need to be extra careful when we're in mouse form. We won't be able to open doors, and any enemy we try to fight in that state will beat us to a pulp. So all we can do is hide? I guess we'll have to change to a completely defensive strategy. I hope we can find a secret passage to get through there. Door won't open, but it might from the other side. That looks suspicious. 
Why don't you investigate? Indeed. I can feel it. Show me your true form! Now's our chance! We can beat him up! Persona! No. The opponent is strong. Don't do anything <laughs> like Persona! Touch them, Melody! Ooh, not that, you are! Do you accept? Good work, everyone! Good work, everyone! Okay. I have something. Wrong one. I can tell. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. A will seed, ain't it? We're doing pretty good so far.
One of Shido's will seeds, huh? Nice. Let's find the rest of them. Going to get the jump on it? Now's your chance. It hasn't noticed us yet. Focus. I should write something.
dude. You got a sec? Hmm. Uh, nice day today, huh? <laughs> Actually, m maybe not. I, I want to go swimming in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> it's your turn, Panther. What? Um, hello there. We really would like to speak with you. We won't take much of your time. Will you listen? Please, sir. Sorry, but please leave me be. I don't have time for you rowdy children. Hey, you little... No, we apologize for our lack of manners. Come on, Skull. We should leave. What the hell's up with that guy? Do you really have to be acting all high and mighty like that? To be fair, you walked up to him and said, Hey, dude, you need to approach this with more tact. Starting the conversation with a quarrel won't get us anywhere. Our approach doesn't matter if you won't listen to us. What are we supposed to do? Let's speak to the people around here. Perhaps we'll learn more about that man's temperament. At the very least, we might get some kind of hint. I guess that'd be better than nothing. Well, asking for info... Okay, let's go. True form. Okay. All right, we beat him. 
Let's go, Joker. Did it, Joe? We do seem to be inside that door we saw earlier, but why? And more importantly, isn't this a fitting room? Just trust me. Wait here and I'll be right back. What's he up to? Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. It's perfect. <laughs> this will totally work. Skull. You have quite a scary look on your face. Actually, it's creepy. Oh, don't worry about that. Come on, let's head back to where that former, uh, noble dude is. Hey, it's you girls' time to shine. I didn't think that we were really going with such a simple plan. Well... There's no way guys lounging by the pool would not check out girls in swimsuits. I want to go home. Are we really going to do this? Um, no, but... If you guys don't hurry, he's gonna go off somewhere. Hello. It's a nice day, isn't it? What do you want? Um, would you grant us a letter of introduction to Mr. Shido? A letter of introduction, you say? <laughs> I would never give one to some nobodies like yourselves. A nobody? I've made my decision to only introduce those with a prestigious lineage. No matter how beautiful you girls may look on the outside, your ancestry cannot be changed. Yes, that may be true, but... well... we're... I'm quite charmed to meet you, sir. My name is Anne Windsor. Anne Windsor? My father is the descendant of British royalty. I beg your pardon. Seriously? These girls are the daughters of my retainers.
Oh, yes. Lady On treats us quite well. Ah, are you half British, Anchan? I am. Your features are definitely different from Japanese girls. One can easily tell at a glance. <laughs> People tend to have such misconceptions, but that isn't true. My hobbies include tea ceremonies. Then again, my father forced me to learn that art. I see. I sense a noble aura that is different from your servants. Servants? Lineage is absolute, no matter how much effort a commoner exerts. <laughs> it is a gap that cannot be filled. You're absolutely correct. I do feel a little sorry for these girls. For real? By the by, about the letter of introduction, if you'd be so generous to grant me one, I'll consider introducing you to my father. Oh, then. Consider it my way of sending my regards to him. Thank you kindly. But goodness, do you look great in that swimsuit. And such an amazing body as well. You look like you could be a model. Oh, no. Did you make sure to put on sunscreen? Hey, um... As members of prestigious family lines, why don't we get on more intimate terms? Excuse me? Come now. You peasant servants should take off. <laughs> You're making her embarrassed. Would you kindly stop this? Want to try on some other swimsuits in my room? Uh, don't touch me, you perv! Nope. Oh, uh, huh? Now that I'm done using you, get away, you creep! This guy's a molester! What the? How dare you set me up like this? Uh, it's your fault for falling for such bad acting. Oh, shut up. We're doing this. Persona! 
All right. Mona's in trouble. Oh, Sonya. He's hurt bad. Let's go. Thank you. Ha! Ha! What? Ready to go. I'm not going to stand by while my friends get hurt. It's showtime. A gift is beautiful as... Here's the bullets. Did Mona just reveal his feelings about her? Persona! Your opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Let's go.
Ahora. Electricity. If we can use that, it'll go down fast. So, the what a truly foolish end. Joker. What a persona! Captain Kid! No! You sure said it! Friends get hurt. For you, Panther. Here's the bonus. 
Did Mona just reveal his feelings about her? Sona, go down! Ooh, Joker, you're looking cool! Do it! They're done for! Persona! Let's go, Captain! Let's go! You sure right. showed me! Time for some pain! Beat him up! Okay, we got the letter of introduction. Only three more left! Were you asking Shido for mental shutdowns too? Contrary to past methods, gaining wealth by lineage alone is quite difficult these days. That's why I begged to be allowed onto Lord Shido's ship. In return for introducing wealthy nobles to him, I requested he enact mental shutdowns for me. I see. So this system of introductions is taking place in reality as well. Lord Shido is extremely cautious about the passengers he chooses. So he's screening potential associates to find wealthy people who won't betray him. And that's why the passengers are wearing masks. He isn't deceived by people's outward appearances. In any case, On, your acting skills have developed quite strongly since our nude incident. Stop bringing that up! Just for clarification, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Good heavens, no. Everything is as written in the reports. I hope you remember the conditions for our arrangement. Support me as best you can, understood? Yes, of course. After all, I am thankful for your aid, Mr. Shido. I'll call in some favors from some old acquaintances and take part in the birth of Prime Minister Shido. I'll have you step down if I catch wind of any slack on your end. Are we clear? <laughs> Crystal, I'd rather not meet the same fate as those I've eliminated thus far. <laughs> Good. Nice.
the cognitive. Hey. Oh my. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Shall we go? I'll just add this. Dawned on me. <laughs> hey, wait. My. Like it's locked from the oh, other yes. side. Let's look for another path. Right. 
Yes. Just add this. Cake. Joker. Knocked him right off their feet. Persona! 
Persona! Don't rush it. Pass the baton and knock us down! Yours! Not yet! Come! Touch them, Melody! Lord him! Keep it coming, Noir! Give it up! Such a brat! We can't talk right now! Time to punch them! They're done for! side I have something That's a shadow joke Do Joker. Shadow spotted. What? Watch out! Strong enemy. I got you surrounded.
we going to do? I have something. Shadow, what do you want to do, Joker? It's not open. It. The lock. Why do these people? 
Okay. Treasure chest!
Yes. He spotted you. Don't fret. safe here. Let's do it. Do you need something?
pursue rehabilitation alarm with all time. your it's body and soul. The this is an alarm fusion. Excessive power will only bring about ruin. Is this something you need? You okay with this? Do you really need this? Is this something you need? It is neither remarkable nor... Do you really need this? Excessive power will o You can't handle it. Is this something you need? Do you really need Is this something you need? Do you really need this? You okay with this? It is neither remarkable. Is this something you need? Excessive power will only bring- Do you really need this? This is its powered up form. The result- This will be its new- Now, you shall be reborn. There is an alarm in effect. One of my favorite. Choose wisely. You can't handle it. Is this something you need? Do you really need? Is this something you need? Do you really need this? Excessive power will. You okay with this? Is this something you need? It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Can't handle. 
handle it. Is this something you need? It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Do you really need this? Is this something you need? Ah, so this is your... Assume your new form. Nice! We made it this far! Let's do it! <laughs> 